Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces have heart to see them through. There are no premature endings, there are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. That's... That's kind of weird for a game called Slay the Princess. <laughs> anyway, hello buddy, I'm HR, welcome back to the Curse Crew. And welcome to Slay the Princess. Uh, this is a game that I saw Markiplier was playing, and I decided that uh, I decided to play on my own. Now, to be fair, I didn't watch him play the game. I I started before because one of the comments said that if you want to play the game, that you, sh you should play the game first before anything. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's freaky right there. That's pretty freaky. Okay, cool. But from what I get the gist of it, this is a game that really relies on choice. Meaning that you can basically has like it has a lot of ways to get to a certain ending, I guess, or certain endings. You know, it's based on how you play and how you choose it. I guess I don't know if that's correct. Probably wrong. But I've did deadly. Let's get into the game, shall we? Chapter one: The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path okay. is a cabin. It's a cool narrator. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's like a Cinderella type thing? Okay, cool. You're here to slay her. Hmm. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Why? Yeah, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you ever considered that, yeah, she's caught up? Yeah, uh, killing the princess seems kind of like a bad, kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get a reward, some kind of reward for doing this? Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to offer Monarch be a little bit loose. <laughs> Silently continue to the cabin. Uh, killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Does it? Are you a monarchist? What? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or what? a seamstress? I, I guess, I guess maybe. If I guess anything, not so. slaying a princess oh. is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. That's mean. Okay, the end of the world. What are we talking about? I'm talking about? about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, really, no more people. Oh. You have to put an end to her. Okay. I, okay, fine, 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 fine. If this is the only way... Actually, wait, yeah. How can a princess locked away in the basement end the world? Don't linger on the specifics. Yeah, come on. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. Really? Okay. We're all counting on you. Who's we? Yeah, look, I'll go... Fine, okay, look. I'll go up to the cabin and I'll talk to her. And she's bad. She says is then maybe, maybe I'll slay her. I'm not committing to anything until I've had a chance to meet her face to face. I'll take that. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. Yeah. But, a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her oh, no, way I, I, I like to hear people out. Make sure the they're nice, you know. listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. <laughs> but that's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Then uh, each and every one of us is doomed. Okay, okay, fine, So sure, buddy. go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. You know, you're very sassy for narrator, you know? You're supposed to help me out, aren't you? You're supposed to scribe out it goes, not short be sassy. Cabin. You'll find the princess within. Okay. We're not going to go through with this, oh. right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Voice of the hero? Why do you sound similar to the voice of narrator? Is it the same voice actor? Pretty cool. So, okay, so I, I have two voices in my head, I guess. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, okay. So I have, I have a voice in my head? Or two, I guess, if you count the narrator, so... Uh, proceed to cabin, I guess. Okay, no, 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 I can't. Okay. It's a cool-looking cabin, by the way. The design of this game is looking really cool. Like, I love the, the sketch style. The interior really cool. of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Ooh. The air is stale and musty, it's and nice. the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. Whoa. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Ooh, nice Perched table. on that table is a pristine blade. Whoa. The blade Ooh. is your implement. You need to get the blade if you want to do this right. I think it, I, I might need the blade, okay? I'll take the blade, I guess. Why not? You know? 
You take the blade from yeah. the table. <laughs> It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and eh, save the eh. world without it. Look at that. My mouse is now a blade. Oh, you can't see that. Shit, I, I, I have to... Uh, hold on. Okay, you can see it now. Sorry, sorry. My, uh, <laughs> I forgot to put my capture cursor on. Now I can see my mouse. I mean, I mean to, I forgot to put it on. Sorry. Into the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase okay. faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This Ooh. is an oppressive place. Creepy. The air feels heavy and damp, a huh. hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. <laughs> If the princess really okay. lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. What? No. That's rude. Again, that's rude. Really rude. I think freeing her from this place probably better, probably. Her voice carries up the stairs. Oh. Who's there? Oh. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Y yeah, that sounds evil queeny more than e more than princess thing. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm starting to regret my actions of questioning this. Don't let it fool you. It's all uh, part of the manipulation. Oh, uh, okay, narrator. Uh, I'm going to uh, continue down the stairs, I guess. I'm, yeah. I'm still listening to reason. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything to her unless I need to, probably, for right now. You walk down oh. the stairs Hi. and lock eyes with the princess. Okay. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the Why basement. is the other one broken? She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Careful, man. Careful. I've seen, I've seen movies where princesses who are coldly beautiful come evil. Ever, see, ever seen the movie The Ice Queen? Not good movie. Focus on the task at hand. Okay, sure. Yeah, of course, narrator. And there you are. Oh. Are you here to kill me or something? Uh, I, I guess. What? No way. Why would you ever think that? Okay, you caught me I'm here. To slay you. No. No. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? I'm not gonna drop the knife, hell no. Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. I'm not, I'm not, uh, 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 we shouldn't drop the blade. I think we should talk things out, but, not, but keep the blade on us. Don't you dare. Don't worry, I'm not gonna drop the blade, man. Trust me. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she uh, really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. That is kind of true, I guess, you know. Now, we, we have no idea what she's done. We, she, she's chained, and she somehow broke one of the other chains, so that's a bit weird. I'm going to tighten my grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on Yeah, I'm blade. not going to kill her. I'm not going to kill her. I'm going to talk to her first but with the blade in my hand, okay? Maybe I feel a bit better, I guess. You poor thing. Uh, your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Why? You step forward. Whoa, hold on. Grip on the blade tightening as you steal d your resolve. Don't kill you, man. I want to talk to us still. I'm probably chained up Whoa. in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Oh, uh, okay. So, you Whoa. should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. No, I want to talk to you first. I want to see why you're doing all this. What you're doing. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. What? No. Well, she isn't bluffing. What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? I'm sorry. Can we? I'm not dropping the blade. You're so close. No. Don't give up. No, I want to talk to her. I haven't seen her done anything bad. I've, she's acting a bit weird, but I want to talk to her. I want to see what she says, how she acts. I'm good, I'm good at that. I'm good at how no, to act. this is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe we Maybe can, can de-escalate yeah, de things. Yeah, de We got to de-escalate things. We can do this, okay? Oh, threatened, are we? You poor thing. Drop the knife, and of course we can talk. I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. Oh, you... Mm. <sighs> yeah, squint at the princess while holding onto the blade. Yep. You stare at the princess, squinting. You gotta talk at some point. 
Yeah. She squints back. <laughs> come on, come on, just talk to us, you know? With the blades of protection, just in case. The two of you are gonna do this forever, aren't you? Apparently. Square the princess even harder. <laughs> do it. You squint even harder. Yes! Mm. Harder. So does she. Yeah! At least nobody's dying. Right <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're going to oh. have to oh, okay. a choice. You can't keep squinting forever. Eventually, <laughs> someone is going to have to blink. Never! It's probably a bad idea. Fuck it. Drop the blade. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands the blade. and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Fine. Thank you. Yes. Maybe now we can just talk. Yes, we can. The blades are the blades are right by my feet. If anything bad happens, I can grab it easily, though. Don't, don't get too close. Fuck. Judgment. You step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Mm. Unarmed. I wish it wasn't. We'll be fine. I'm, I'm trusting you, voice. Trusting you more more than a narrator, man. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish, <sighs> here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Really? Yeah. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Not gonna. Not, not, not happening. That blade is in my back. The blade is in my mind, forefront, center. Let's get so to this. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Wait, what? Wait, what? A relationship? Wait, what? What? What the fuck? Yeah, I'm here because it's supposed to. There are people out there who are thinking to end the world. How long have you been here? What's your name? Do you know why I'm here to kill you? I mean, because you're supposed to end the world. Don't just tell her that. Yeah, I'm telling her that. I'm telling. I'm telling her that. Like, why? That's cute. Do you believe mm. that? Do you think I'm some sort of <laughs> monster? The eyes are a bit weird. I'm saying the eyes. The eyes are a bit untelling. But also, the way you talk, it sounds distant. Like you're trying to hide something. Like hiding behind something. If I'm something. supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? No, they haven't. I was hoping you tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. Really? I believe her. Mm, I don't know. Something about it just doesn't seem right. It's a voice. It's the way she talks. The thing. It sounds distant. It sounds like she's hiding. She's hiding something or, or behind something. Like, it just feels wrong. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. That's true, I guess. People, a single action can get straight away. The butterfly effect, you know? At the end Whole of thing. the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. I suppose so. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. Yeah, and I wonder about that. I wonder why the narrator didn't tell us. Oh, you asked him. He didn't that tell us shit. Right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. That is the thing, actually. She has a chance to kill me. She is ch she is chained, but she has an arm free. She hasn't attacked us yet. She's just talking to us as well. She has a point. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. I'm wondering with... I'm wondering how, I'm wondering how reliable is our narrator. So... I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, mm. or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. No, I don't want to hear what you will do, I want to hear what you have done. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly mm. be worth in a situation like this? Exactly. What have you done? Why are you chained in this basement? She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Exactly. Actually, no, that's not true. Her word is worth a lot. Again, she is talking to us. 
Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. Don't attack me now. So do you trust me, mm. the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Huh. Or do you trust whoever put me here? Here's the thing though about you. Again, you're miss again, you again, you're missing a chain. The other chain's broken. Somehow you got out of it. Or someone let you out. Either the chain's broken before you got here, but either way, something happened. She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. Mm. We stand to lose everything. How? All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Subjugating? What? Um. Uh, what's your name? She hesitates before answering. Oh, that's a lie. That's a lie, then. You can address me as your royal highness. Or her majesty. Okay. Any honorific should do, really. No name. Fine. Again, she offers no specifics. No That's matter how uh, that is, you try, that is misleading. You'll never That's get the a straight thing, answer you know? out of her. It is the whole thing. I'm trying to learn more about you. You won't tell me anything that I won't know. How long have you been down here? Too long. Again, not specific enough. Fine. How would I, how would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. Shut up, narrator. I'm guessing you don't have the key, then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there <sighs> isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Hmm. It's the eyes. Again, the eyes. I don't trust it. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. Don't try it. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. Right? Oh. Cutting off her hand, I guess. Don't she is. I'm sure of it. I don't know about that. Yeah, relationship. No, you know what? No, okay, we talked you talked enough. Oh? Have you decided what to do with me? <sighs> You're arrogant. But not guilty is the thing. I don't it's not that I don't trust you. It's just that you're arrogant and you seemingly don't you seemingly don't care about people. You haven't given any information, which also means she hasn't lied. That's the thing. She hasn't lied yet. That's the thing. She could easily lie, but she's keeping she's keeping information from us. It's a lot of omission, but that's how it is. You know why you're here. <sighs> Fuck no. Say the princess. Get, get you out of here. I'm going to keep you locked away down here at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. Ah, <sighs> this is a difficult decision. The game is called Slay the Princess, though. Like, it's the whole thing. Like, should I just do what the game says? I don't want to get her out of there, but I don't want to keep her in there because it'll probably make me seem bad. If I kill her, then the game's over and I can try again, I guess. Fuck. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Say the princess. There we go. Hope this works. Doubt, Fuck. Unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run Holy her shit. through. Holy shit. Holy shit. Uh, what the fuck's going on my arm? A moment of distraction oh. and hesitation is all she shit. needs to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Fuck. Okay. Shit. Shit. It shit. Feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. I knew she was strong because of the chain. Holy shit, that hurts. Yeah, because the she broke the chain, man. Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Shit, no, 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 no. Fuck, your fuck, stab, stab. the air again and again, and her fists uh, connect with your body as many times. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Each impact as heavy as that first bone-crushing hit. Shit. We can still turn this around. No, we can't at this point, man. Fuck. Finish the job. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath. We gotta do it now. It's too late, man. She, we, we you lost all trust with her, and this point, I'm, I'm done. But you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here. I'll make it out alive. Yeah, come on, let's do Excuse this. Excuse me? 
Wait, what? Wait, oh, oh, wait, oh, are we gonna die? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? Oh, we're gonna die. I Shit. have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, mm. it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Hey! Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing <sighs> around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. Fine, fine. Let's just get this over with then, okay? I, I can try again. I can try. I can try again next time then. Okay, I, I do like how I got blood my neck, the by the way. Time. There we you go. You feel your ribs break as she delivers Fuck. a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking right your blade deep into the princess's heart. Damn. Okay, why do I have claws? What, am I like a bird person? What is that? A kenku? Oh. Fucking hell. Oh, a cock probably. I'm sorry. Damn it, I, I wish I didn't have to do this. Actually, I, I probably shouldn't have done this, but I feel like it was the only choice to do. It's the name of the game. To the floor. Oh, shit. Two before to the floor. Shit, we're looking at each other in the eyes. This was fun. Really? At, le at least, at least we went out of the fight, I guess. The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. Yeah, I, I guess I did. Wonder, what? Do you really think this is the end? Isn't it? I mean, this is the whole princess thing, Silent Princess, right? This is the end, right? But you don't have time to worry over Whoa. such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. 